In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to prepare your Abacus results to be put in your technical report or your project report or in a journal, a manuscript, right? So you do just you don't want just to print screen it from your screen because then the quality will be dependent on the resolution of your screen, right? So if you work in a laptop that has very low resolutions, if you print screen this result here using for example in windows uh, you can press window key shift and s and then you can make a print screen like this the quality will be dependent on your screen resolution which is not good maybe if you use a laptop in my case i use 4k monitor so it, it, it's good enough even though i'm using print screen so if you if you use a laptop that has low resolution but you still want to get high re resolution image you just need to print it instead of taking screenshot okay print and then your destination file and then you can put tests and then ps is a post script is just like a pdf so it's a factorized image this is good if you can use latex to to write your report but if you use a microsoft window a microsoft word or google documents uh, you can just use PNG. I prefer to use PNG and click here. Okay, this is important. You want to use the highest resolution as much as possible. Here, the maximum is 4096. Okay, so I'm going to choose 4000 for simplicity. Okay, 4000. Click OK. And then you click here and then. The specified is printed here in your working directory. So you, you open the working directory and here is the result. And please note here is that the background is transparent. Okay, the background is transparent. So uh, let me open, I don't know, Google Docs. Google Docs. Just to show you examples. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. I want this one, not this one. Yeah, let's open a blank document, Google Docs. So if the original background of the document is white, then because your back, the background of your image is transparent, it will show a white background, okay? So it is nice. So uh, if, you if you want to copy it to a, a slide that has a black theme, dark theme, the transparent mode is always better, okay? So never print screen it as long as you can don't do like this because then this is the quality that you have okay and but dito i do, the print screen somehow didn't work uh, no the print option somehow didn't work sometimes they didn't work okay let me tell you if i try 10 times one time maybe they didn't work in some computer also they didn't work i don't know why so you want to do print screen how can i make it white so here if you want to make a white background you can go to here in the view uh not view i think yeah view graphic options and then choose solid and then here then click here and click here so it's a white background and you apply so it's white now so you can print screen it and put it into the white background so it's good right but imagine if you want to print screen to a uh for example let's open google slide if you want to print screen to a google slide but the google slide has a black background that will cause problem for example here uh the for example this one so you want to take this guy and then you want to print it here oops it doesn't look good right because now your background is black and then this picture background is white so it doesn't really looks good but imagine if you use the transparent one where is it oh here where is my transparent one this is the transparent it will be great you see so you don't have problem with the background mismatch okay between the picture background and the slide background so if you have 
this one it's nice any color you like it always well put okay that's how you import uh, export and now imagine when you work uh to present something always present the whole structure first okay so for example like this just for sake simplicity i'm using print screen now but the better one is uh, the print option there let's use the white one this is how you should do it okay take the big one and then you zoom to the lo critical location okay so people know uh, how is because sometimes they want to know what is happening in the red zone but if you put the whole the one big picture they can tell what is happening so the best thing is uh, to put the maybe box here and there should be uh, i'm not really familiar with this guy what the idea is that you make a trend uh, this one without any fill uh transparent okay and then you put the uh, right one and then uh, you put an arrow from here to here and then here you can also make a red boundary i'm not sure if i can do it here but it should be able okay or you can even draw a red box you do it much better okay okay so people understand that this guy is the zoom in version of this guy so that's how you should do in your report don't just simply throwing pictures but you need to also consider the aesthetics of this picture and the easiness of people to understand the phenomena that is taking place in your results okay all right so our next step is to modify the legend because the legend is full of colors so people need to understand what is the meaning of the color itself in this case this color refers to the font misses stress so how to include that for example what happens if you want to modify the style so you can go to the viewport viewport annotation options and you can set all off if you want you can set all on so you can configure everything from this window related to the von says the the title the legend the title block the triad here you can change the font the size also if you, okay, you can click apply it's getting bigger right what's important usually is the legend because you want to put it next to your picture in your report so you go to the legend you click apply sometimes you want to change the send uh sometimes you want to change the font here by default they use ferdana you can change the size all right sometimes it doesn't look good because so many decimals also so for example this one i changed the font type to arial because sometimes i want to match it with my document font so here my document font is Arial. So I also use Arial in my legend. That's why it looks good now, right? And now let's change the format numbers. You can use scientific. You can also use fix. It depends on your taste. So now let's crop it and put it in your report so let's copy it here yeah you so you should put it like this right so you have the big structure you have a zoom in structure and then you need to put the legend so people understand the level of stress is there so yeah it is one of the most important thing you need to do is that you need to include this legend to your report What important is also the limits. When you want to compare several images, you want to make sure that the legend are the same between all these images. So here we manually set the images from 0 to 25,200 MPA. So you need to make sure that when you want to compare various images you need to make sure that the legend were set equal 
in all these images so they can be comparable right so now it looks good right the legend is way much better so the next step that we will do is try to do some animation export so we want to export the animation for example for your presentation it will looks good if you have animation of your deformed structures or specimens so here make sure you have a low strength low frame rate to make sure that the audience can follow the motion of your animation and you know when you try to export sometimes it didn't work this is really normal and the cause of this can varies between pc right so make sure when you want to export play first the animation the video let's check again Yeah, they are they export now, but still it's freeze. So this is usually because of the codec when you export the animations. So in order to set the codec correctly, you go to animate, save as, and make sure this option you click, AVI format, and you choose Microsoft Video One. So you can try all of the codec format, right? And choose what best for you and what works for you here i'm using low frame rate so that my audience can follow my animation very slowly click ok and yes because you're going to replace the previous for video it's gonna take some time because i just set the resolution to high resolutions so it's gonna be longer because the resolution of the video will be very nice, very high resolution. Let's check the game. Yeah, now it's working. All right, guys. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, share and like the video. Thank you very much.